so much. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Amy Holland and I am from Jackson Independent. And I have a, a, one of my students with me, Jace, who's going to come up later, and he's going to tell us some of the things that he enjoyed about the grant uh, objects that we got. Uh, voice enhancers. Um, making children be heard is hard. Five-year-olds don't like to speak out loud. They don't like to project their voice. They don't really know how. So my grant was to get enhancers for the classroom as well as my special needs kids. I have a child in my classroom right now who's autistic and basically nonverbal. He will say certain words and certain things as he knows his favorite thing to say. And so this was basically to get him started as well. The first thing that we did um, with our cue ball, and the cue ball is a round ball that has a speaker inside of it, and you throw it back and forth to the children. And when it lands in your hands, then the speaker turns on and the kids can speak into it. To get the kids used to speaking into a speaker, I do an activity every year where we choose a famous Kentuckian or famous American, and we do a great names puppet. It goes along with G and N, great names. So what the kids did was they had their puppet, and behind the screen here, the kids had the cue ball. And they, I held the cue ball so that they could speak into it. Before that, or after that, we also had, I ordered some um, lapel mics and wireless mics. And so on this activity, we had the lapel mics on. And when we do Kentucky, we do uh, Kentucky Wildcats. And they learn all about the Kentucky Wildcats. So the kids got to use a little lapel pin here. And when you're sitting out in the audience, their voices are really hard to hear. This helped the kids pay more attention. We did a President's Day speech, and you'll see the little microphone right here, and they have the uh, wireless headsets. And they each got to be a president and then give a president's speech. You see some of the presidents and the first ladies. The girls were all first ladies, and the guys were presidents. And they researched it. This is a video, so I'll let you listen to this for a minute. You can see each child was a different president and their enthusiasm was great with this project. And it's paused. Oh, it just started over. That's all right. But anyway, you see that little, whoa. Go back. I got it. With the president's speech, you could hear them. Every year I've done the president's speech, it's been right in the classroom, and it's had, had a difficult time hearing the kids actually speak. This time, when they got up to speak, you could hear them. My special needs kids, when they got up, you could hear them. I could stand to the side when we were videoing them, and I could help the ones with the special needs. I would love to have been able to show you the one of my child who's autistic. When he got up, we had boards for him, and he would hold the boards up as I spoke, which was great. And then we had plays, so we used the wireless mics. I don't know if you could, you probably won't be able to hear it real good, but we had Christmas time, we had a Santa Claus, Where's You Lost Your Boots. Every kid had a part, they had microphones on. I was able to get eight more microphones so that the parents could see, the, see and hear the children. The only problem that we had was that the sound system that we have in the gym doesn't go real well with the microphones, so some of the microphones would go in and out. So that's an issue that our superintendent said he was gonna help us rectify. Then uh, in the spring, we did green eggs and ham. And then everybody here had the microphones on as well. Okay. The cue ball. Notice that all the children at this point are engaged. They want to look. Now, this is where I'm going to pull Jace up. Jace, come up here. Now, Jace, I think this is Jace's favorite thing. Jace, what can you tell us? What's your favorite thing about the cue ball? It, when it gets thrown to me. 
Uh, so when it gets thrown to you, what do you do? Answer a question. Yeah. Like one of the questions might be what? Could you tell us one question? Like if I ask you, uh, what's two plus two? Four. Yeah. And so what we've cut. Now the thing about it is, is everybody fight, everybody wants the hands up. So what, what what is everybody doing when we want the cue ball thrown? Everybody's doing this, right? All oh, their hands are up like this, and they're so excited. And then, all right, here's one question: What do you have to do? This is not working. What do you have to do in order to make sure that you don't get hit in the head? Look at the ball. Yeah. And does do people get hit in the head if they're not looking at the ball? Yeah. So if they're not paying attention, they get a hit in the head. Does it hurt? No. Not really, no. Not really. But that's the, that's the rule. That way, you can sit back down now, Chase. Good job. Everybody give Chase a hand. Now, the thing about it is, with that cue ball, when I'm throwing it, all right, when I'm throwing it to the kids back and forth, they have to pay attention. So everybody's engaged. Everybody's looking at me. And that's the great thing about that cue ball. And then one thing, oh, one thing else. Come back up here. Our little boy that is autistic, what happened when I threw the ball to him? He said something in it. He said something in it. And what did the class do? Cheered. We cheered. We cheered like crazy. He actually answered a question for the first time because of that cue ball. Let's go on. Uh, students are more engaged. They're excited to participate. Special needs students participate. The needs is a new speaker and a way of getting to organize the sound systems together so that it's more functional for the whole school.